Yo, 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 guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way to get gems in Clash Royale. Um, so, it is now season 36, and uh, not really any new ways, but we don't know when the new mastery level is going to be coming out. Um, at least I don't, but yeah, the fastest way to get gems in Clash Royale right now is card mastery. So, you guys can see. Um, I'm about to max on my bats right here. Boom, level 7. That's going to give me three, literally 300 gems. So that's going to be three GCs. Really nice. And then Mega Knight as well. That's another 300 gems. So that's 600 gems right there. And that's like super nice, bro. That's literally like multiplies my gems by two. And I didn't spend a single dime. So if you have decks that you haven't maxed the masteries out in, grind those. And um, yeah, get gems. Also, the pass rail is a really, really quick and easy way to get gems you guys can see all these uh chests you get and stuff and each one of those will have a couple gems um and also like tournaments will give you gems uh every once in a while and um clan wars chest and stuff like that so yeah basically uh battle play the game get chest slots um always be unlocking a chest pretty much the pass rail will also help you do that and yeah, but card masteries is the by far the fastest and most efficient way to get gems in Clash Royale and uh, yeah, definitely don't buy gems because it's not worth it at all. So probably I'm 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 thinking about getting this emote. We'll see though. Um, but yeah, that is the fastest way to get gems in Clash Rail. Just wanted to make a quick video that I didn't really have to edit for you guys. And uh, yeah, so new shop as well, nice. All right, so yeah, that was the fastest way to get gems. Oh well, not getting that emote now. <laughs> um. So yeah, if you guys don't know, the um, Giant Skeleton Rage Challenge is going on, so I guess um, to end off the video, I'm just going to share this replay with you guys. Um, kind of an insane comeback, not really sure how I did it, but yeah, um, that's how to get gems, so let's get into the end of the video and watch this replay. Let's go. Yeah, basically, he's playing, like, log bait with, um, E-Golem, and I kind of made, like, a random deck off the spot. Um, it's kind of like bridge spam. I don't know why, but I threw in a Mighty Miner. Obviously, you have to use a Giant Skeleton. Uh, just kind of like a little fun deck to mess around with, but yeah, as you can see, like, this dude basically, like, absolutely starts destroying me. He kind of just, like, hard counters and all that. Um, I tried to log here to, um, get the giant skeleton bomb, but I was really late, uh, because I didn't have elixir. But, a uh, little unfortunate there, the giant skeleton bomb didn't blow up all the, um, of the Skarmy. So, yeah, that's a little unfortunate, to be honest. And I don't know why E was there, but the giant skeleton's like super scary when it's rage, so I just kind of did that to kill it off, I guess. And now, like, here I just kind of mighty miner because I kind of have to. I didn't really have any other card. And I feel like bandit would kill it too slow. So, yeah, I mean, I kind of just did that. It wasn't really a great play, but here I just go giant skeleton on the magic archer, and he's getting a lot of damage. So, basically, at this point, I kind of knew it was game over, but, I mean, I'm not going to give up, because I'm just trying to goof around, I guess. So, yeah, pretty much, we get a nice little push here um, to make him, you know, spend some elixir. And that bandit actually get, breaks through. The bandit's really, really good in this. Uh, the bandit's good in everything, but that's why bridge spam is so good. Pick a bridge spam. But, yeah, basically, I uh, just wasted my log there, so a little unfortunate. He's going to get a ton of damage with this barrel. And, to be honest... I'm pretty sure, I don't know, this is like the second time he played his barrel. And for some reason, in like tournaments, when I'm just messing around, I don't actually like realize my opponent's deck. So I just kind of like spam cards. So basically, I'm just playing a Sparky to have fun and stuff. Because obviously, Sparky is a really fun card. I mean, you just saw what it did to that eagle. Like, look at that. That's freaking sick. Um, I could have played a P.E.K.K.A. sooner. Um, and I wouldn't have leaked that four elixir I got from the e-golem. So that's pretty unfortunate. And I logged there thinking that the sparky wouldn't splash all that, but it did. So as you can see, a ton of mistakes in this game. I don't have any counter to that barrel as well. And I got super lucky that he didn't end up finishing off my tower right there. Um, And you guys can see just like the absolute utter defeat I'm facing right now. So I got a super nice log prediction there. 
um, which is probably what ended up winning me the game. The witch just hit my tower as well, took it down to 21 HP. Um, and yeah, somehow, I don't even know how, but yeah, watch this, boys. So, basically build up a double giant skeleton push. Log saves me there, because I got a perfect log. Um, I wanted to play it late, though, just to be sure I was going to get it in the right spot. And then, yeah, we end up finishing off his elo golem. That's going to feed me a lot of free elixir, so I'll take it. And that giant skeleton bomb in the first one is just going to be too much for him to deal with, so he has to play that magic arch from the back, and that's pretty much game, because... The giant skeleton's so fast, it's just already to the tower, and now, yeah, we basically overwhelm him. Double Sparky, double giant skeleton, break through this tower, and that's gonna be game, so. Yeah, 21 HP on the tower. Um, He literally, like, didn't have a small spell. So, I'm not really sure how he lost that, but kinda crazy, bro. Um, t Literally 21 HP, so. Yeah, uh, kind of a nutty match there. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's the fastest way to get gems in Clash Royale. Remember, just be active, and you'll end up getting the gems. But, yeah, max out all your card masteries, and that is how you get them when you get level 7 card mastery. So, yep, fastest way to get gems in Clash Royale. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it was super short and simple, but I just wanted to get a video out for you guys today. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel and you made it this far, please um, like and subscribe. I stream Clash Royale every single day on the channel, so... I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate a sub and a like on the video. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and peace out everybody.